Eurovision, greetings and welcome back to my channel. It's now time to start reviewing the second semi-final um, and we will start off with Australia. So last year Montaigne represent uh, a country even though she didn't um, go to uh, the Netherlands um, to use uh, the performance she made on Australia and sent it um, and she performed Technicolor I gave it seven points and a half and honestly at the end it quite ended up almost my top 30 so I was not really a major fan of the song and actually it resulted at uh, in the first non-qualification from Australia this year though they will bring Sheldon Riley and I'm not sure I will realize if I'm right or wrong in just a minute but I think uh, he um, tried to um, tried not he, he went to participate on the voice from Australia I remember him at least um, and perhaps in a different show but I'm not sure but yeah the name says something to me in the thumbnail also I think I recognized him so I'm intrigued let's see uh, if I'm not wrong he has good vocals not the same it's the name of the song and Sheldon Riley as I said it's a singer so Representing Australia, here we go in one, two, three. Let's go, Sheldon. Live performance now. They divided me, my heart was cold. Found it hard to talk and speak my mind. They never liked the things that I would like. Cause you're told to play, but you're not the same As the other kids playing the same game Try to jump on in, but they push away so far away I'm not the same, no Oh, nice voice I tried and tried. My father asked me if today is fine. I said it's quite it was over the top in terms of performance. In oh, terms, of, it's a ballad. It doesn't really happen a lot, but still, it's something. And hide, hide the break inside. Do you realize that the light shines bright? His voice is very, very nice. Very powerful. I would like to see his face though. It's filling it. Oh, okay. Not the same. No, no. We're not the same. No, no. Okay. Emotional. Come on. It's a little bit repetitive, but he hits the notes perfectly. Okay. Um, I think it was very intense from beginning to end. Um, and because of that, I think I was expecting it to start a little bit more calmly so that it could just blossom, you know? And I just felt at a certain point when it ended, I was expecting him to go, you know, 
even higher if possible. Um, but it was not bad at all. I thought I, I really thought it was into the performance, and it was almost like um, carrying all the people that were hearing the song with him through the moment he was feeling and facing. So. I liked it. I will actually give it seven and a half. I think it's very fair. I'm always a fan of a song that, um, you know, like a bell like this, when the vocals are incredible and um, if it has the ability to captivate me as it did, great. I won't give it even more just because I feel that um, the, the, the arrangement of the song could have been a little bit different so that at the end we could be even more wowed. You know what I mean? But it was a very nice, nice uh, song. It is from from Australia. So, yeah, and a little bit of repetition there with with the title of the of the entry. But I might get used to it. So, what did you think of this entry? Did you like it or not? Leave your comments down below, please. Uh, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.